this is an Italian plum. I'm Adair Cantor and today I'm going to teach you how to make an Italian plum tort. It is a beautiful recipe and it's going to become one of your favorites. First thing is to wash your plums, then you need to split them and the beauty of an Italian plum is that pretty much they open up and the seed comes out. It is much easier than any of the cling uh, seed fruits. The next step is making the batter. Right here are my ingredients for two torts. I have two bowls, two sets of dry ingredients, my eggs, my butter, my vanilla, and my sugar. Now I'm going to show you how to assemble one batter. I'm starting with a very soft cube of butter and I am going to pour in one cup of sugar. Blend well. Okay. Now that the sugar and the butter are blended, I'm going to add one egg at a time and blend until well blended. One teaspoon of vanilla, blend. Now I'm going to take my dry ingredients. I have one cup of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt that I've blended. And I'm going to add that to my batter. All my ingredients are in. I'm scraping down the bowl and I don't want to over blend, but I want to get all the flour incorporated into the wet ingredients. I am using a springform pan, cheesecake pan, but I have found these to be the most efficient, the ones with the trough around them. I have several, here's another uh, pan. Parchment paper is your friend. It will make everything so much easier. So my parchment has been cut to the shape. I put it down over the collar and then I crimp it off. I use spray that has flour in it. It works for me. You can use butter, but you have to be generous and you have to get the collar of your springform pan. Here's the batter we prepared. I'm just getting all this good batter into my pan and then I have to spread it around with a nice little spatula and I just push the dough, the batter, all the way to the edge. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now we are ready to put our plums on top. The split plums now go into our pan and you line it in a concentric circle, getting as many plums as you can into the pan. Depending on how large or small your plums are, I found that 13 to 17, 18 plums will do a springform pan. I use fresh squeezed lemon juice, and then I use a generous tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice sprinkled over the top of the plums. Then the topping, which is two tablespoons of sugar with one generous teaspoon of cinnamon. And you just sprinkle on top. This is the final step before it goes into the oven for one hour at 350. I have a very large oven 
If you do not, you have to cook them one at a time. And I'm putting them in here for one hour at 350. Here we are after one hour. Beautiful torts. They take one hour. I don't test them. I just pull them out and stick them on the top of the stove. Now I'm going to transfer these over to cooling racks. They need to cool down if you're going to store them for uh, a month, for five months, up to a year. And I'm going to show you how to store them and wrap them because there is something to it. But right now I have to slide this off onto my cooling rack. It takes a little bit of finesse, but usually it comes off. And then I let this cool. That's, but you could eat this right now with some ice cream, with some whipped cream, or just plain. It is amazing. Now, right out of the oven, the plums will be very hot, so you have to be a little bit careful. But this is a delicious dessert. It's a delicious breakfast food, and it stores up to a year in the freezer when you have wrapped it appropriately. It's the end of my day, and I am ready to wrap the plum torts. Here's the tort. I have to cut off all of this parchment because obviously I don't want to wrap my tort with all this excess. And I have found it works pretty slick to get it over the edge and nice set of scissors. And all you do is go around the perimeter. Voila. Pretty nifty. And I will show you in the next step what we're going to do with the wrapping of the plastic wrap and then aluminum foil. And the last part will be the gallon size baggie. Take a generous piece of plastic wrap, take your cooled plum tort, and then you're going to wrap it really well, making sure that the edges are tucked in and it is airtight. Take a piece of aluminum foil, shiny side out, and then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to wrap the tort really well so that it is airtight. The last step is to take the gallon baggie. I have pre-written the name and the date on the baggie and then instructions on how to get it ready to serve. I coax it into the bag and that's kind of important. Make sure you get it into your bag without tearing the opening. The last step is to get the air out. I use a straw. You can use any method you want. Here is my plum tort ready to go in the freezer with the instructions on it. And it will last up to a year in the freezer. I've actually had them last quite a bit longer and they taste great. There you have it. Now you can make your own beautiful, delicious plum tort and you can share it with your friends or eat it all by yourself. Anyway, happy eating.